One reason for San Francisco's booming economy is companies like Salesforce.com, a leading maker of cloud computing products for businesses. Its growth has been explosive. Co-founder and CEO Mark Benioff is a local boy made good. The Bay Area native and former Oracle employee has earned a fortune and feels an obligation to give back. In fact, Benioff has made corporate philanthropy part of the business plan. His foundation recently donated nearly $3 million to San Francisco's middle schools for teacher training, wireless access, and iPads for students. In 2010, he donated $100 million to the UCSF Children's Hospital. Scott Schaefer has our interview. Mark Benioff, welcome to KQED Newsroom. Thanks, great to be here. You are a fourth generation San Franciscan, born here, grew up on the peninsula. Uh, you were born in the mid-60s, a lot was going on then. Uh, how did that impact you and the way you look at the world? Well, I, I love the Bay Area and I love San Francisco. I just feel like we live in a nirvana here. I mean, it's amazing. You just look at the incredible weather that we enjoy and the beautiful vistas that we enjoy and the amazing people. On top of that, you get the unbelievable innovation that comes out of these universities and the communities and draws so many interesting people from all over the world. What about you as a kid or even as a young man? I mean, is there something, was there something that, were, were you, that clicked for you that really m made you the person you are today in terms of the way you look at the world of business and the world of corporate responsibility? What I was really influenced by was my own family and their uh, contributions that they were making here in the Bay Area. And Your dad was really, a member, uh, grandfather was a member of the Board of Supervisors, I think. My grandfather was a supervisor and very active here in the, the city of San Francisco and came up even with the Bay Area Rapid Transit it, which is very cool, part of his legacy. And really my whole family is very committed to giving back. And I think that, of course, impacts you when you're a kid that you are thinking, okay, yes, I'm going to be successful. Yes, I'm going to make money. Yes, I'm going to create a company. But how am I going to make the world a better place? And these things have to work together. How do you create that corporate culture? Because not all Silicon Valley, not all high-tech companies have that. In fact, many don't. Well, it was a big breakthrough for me. I had attended this amazing conference in 1997, and it was chaired by Colin Powell, and he said, hey, all you corporate chieftains, uh, get out there and do something for somebody else, and uh, use your relationships, your technology, and your money, and make the world better. Just don't reap the harvest uh, here uh, and around the world. And I took that back and said, when I start my own company, I'm going to take 1% of our equity, 1% of our profit, and 1% of all of our employees' time, and put it into a 501c3 uh, charity. Now it was easy because we had no profit, we had no equity, we had no time. <laughs> now you've got to put up. <laughs> but with, well, you were with Oracle, yeah. right, in 97, and they, you found that the, the, even though there may have been a, a desire to do that kind of giving, it, didn't, it wasn't part of the corporate culture. Well, that's very insightful, actually. That's why we said when we started Salesforce, we're going to integrate it. So on your first day of work at salesforce.com, you come in, we show you where the toilet is, we show you where the kitchen is, and uh, then at noon, you go out and do something uh, for the city of San Francisco. You go to a homeless shelter, you go to a soup kitchen, you go and do something for somebody else. You recently got a lot of attention for giving a, a $2.7 million gift to the 12 middle schools in San Francisco. Uh, they're going to get tablets, they're going to get Wi-Fi access, and the teachers are going to get, I think, $100,000 to, or the principals, rather, to divvy up the way they see fit. What, what impact is that going to have on education? City of San Francisco school system is just an awesome target for philanthropy right now because so many uh, individuals and organizations have made big commitments to the school district. You walk into these schools, they're great places, but now corporations and nonprofits need to invest more into the schools and that's what we're doing because technology by itself is not going to make a difference. It's about a full package. It's about the investment. It's about the people, and it's about the technology. It's about this new, new generation of blended learning. San Francisco, you live here, you know, is experiencing a tech boom. People want to live here. Uh, housing prices are going through the roof. Uh, business is doing well. The unemployment rate is low. At the same time, there's a concern that San Francisco is becoming unaffordable. I mean, it became unaffordable for the poor quite a while ago, but even now the working class, teachers, nurses, bus drivers are having a hard time buying a home in San Francisco. Is that something that you think people like you should worry about or do you worry about it? I think a lot about that because San Francisco is a small place. We a, have a very finite piece of land here, seven miles by seven miles square. It is a nirvana. But 
you know, all these great tech companies, we have one message to them, you're going to come here, you better be ready to give back. Because but how do they give back in a way that, uh, that makes it more affordable? Is there, is there anything that can be done? Or is that not really the job of, of corporations? Well, I think one way that you, we can do it is by impacting the schools, just like we're talking about here. You know, our, we want to make sure that the people who are living here can go to great public schools. Why can't we have the best public schools in the nation? Do you think that there's a problem in politics that our leaders just aren't thinking big enough? I think that it's really hard because over time, you know, you're in a position of leadership or you're in a philanthropic organization or you're involved specifically with schools and you get beaten down over time because not all the things always work out. That's why you always have to keep a beginner's mind and start again and say we can do it and we can make this successful and we can make it more successful than last time. Quick question about where technology and politics come together, Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. We're seeing huge problems with the health care portals that people are going to for the health care exchanges, not so much the one run by California, but the ones that are nationally run. What do you make of that, the fact that they seem to have been just totally unprepared? The government's not going fast enough to new technology instead of building it on this thing that we invented here in San Francisco called the cloud. <laughs> they didn't ask you. <laughs> they didn't ask us and they didn't ask anyone associated with the cloud to help them and instead they're building these old on-premise systems that are not scaling and they've got themselves into a pickle on that one. Last question I want to ask you about your grandmother who is a hundred years old, I understand, Freddie. Uh, tell me about her and what influence she's had on you. Well, my grandmother had a phenomenal uh, impact on me and you're right, she'll be 101 this year so your, your research is really good. Um, I'll tell you that when I was growing up and I was just getting involved uh, in business and, and, uh, in, and in computers, she was really by my side the whole way. I was working at uh, this jewelry shop in Burlingame and polishing the cases and she came to me and said, you know what, you make enough money and we'll buy that $500 computer and uh, I'll match you. So you make $250, I'll give you $250. And in fact, we went to that uh, Radio Shack store in Burlingame and we bought that first computer that changed my life. Mark Benioff, thanks so much for coming in. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Great to be here.